god. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A fuck bitch nigga in a motherfucking Honda. Get your ass and your lawnmower fuck ass. Hold on, cuz I need to cut. Nigga, I ain't got no goddamn grass. Hold on, nigga. You got dirty in that motherfucker. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Possibly a masterpiece. And what the hell going on there, nigga? Low shit. What the fuck is it? I say so for the price tag not being instantly one hundred dollars, nigga. That's I don't know when the fuck they did they, they did that shit, nigga. That was the new drop, nigga. Everything just hundred dollars, hundred dollars. I'm like, I mean, I haven't bought Nikes in that. No, I did just be doing that shit too. Look at y'all niggas, goofy, nigga. A lot of companies sitting on that. It's not just like the big corporations and all these. Shit. It's some bullshit, nigga. And it's been before. It's not like oh the inflation and all the. It's not all that shit, nigga. This nigga, it's been doing that shit. We have a cup so sneaker that aesthetically looks like folk, according to them. Whatever the fuck that means, nigga. It's actually dripping with swag. That's definitely not a word no more, is it? It should have never been a goddamn word. It never. I done ruined the whole damn video. I done ruined the whole goddamn shoe, didn't I, nigga? I was not expecting this wide of a uh, toe cap. Now, the shoes are decently wide, especially compared to these. Mother. These are definitely fucking narrow, nigga. I call these motherfuckers narrow, no doubt. BRSB. I believe they're brand new to the game, and oftentimes I'll see a shoe drop with one or a few colorways, and they're all dog shit. But these are the opposite. In fact, I mean, they kept it kind of simple. Like, most of the shoes, most of the colorways I see are, like, white. And then just, like, they change the back, little back tab or something like that. And the stripes. And it's like, it's cool. But anyone can get them. But it's probably catered more towards, like, what a girl might want. Like, those types of colors and things like that. But, I mean, and that's probably why they got so many eyes. Because them motherfucker don't know what the fuck they goddamn want. Nigga, do do do. They appear to be leathers and breathable textile on the sides. Topped off with that suede bumper and double layer rubber outsole. However, the black and white colorway, I almost had a cop. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, at some point, I'm, I got to, I got to, you know what I'm saying? But but the, with the black ones, it's the, the toe cap, the upper toe part is suede. It's all suede. There's no leather on the shoe. But then it falls in line, too, with the, the rest of them and has textile. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's textile. It's a little textile, oh, sidewalls or whatever the fuck, they, that side of the shoe. Pre-long-term prediction, whatever you got. The only thing I really see that maybe, like, first to wear is going to be potentially that lace bed that dips down. A little bit low, but I mean, I mean, it's it's not really low enough, and it's kind of covered up the part. I, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm sure we gonna get something there. Yeah, that lace is pretty much gone. I said the shoe glued the motherfucker at that point. The toe cap and build of the shoe was no doubt beefy and stacked. Like I said, I'm having a hard time tearing through these puppies, and it's been a long time since I had like an impressive toe cap. Now, real quick, we will jump to the break end of the toe cap and the break end of the shoe. But this is the toe cap is a 10 out of 10 for me. That's easy. These bad boys will take a bit of time to get through at this rate. Results will vary. But I, that being said, I do a kind of kickflips now. I just do. And I, I still can't get them right. With the beefiness of it, you do have to break it in, wearing it away a bit before it starts to hit that smooth, like comfortable fit, You, if you will. I mean, it's always generally a combination of the two, but typically it's like the literal flux and bend of the toe cap. But with thicker ones, you also do need like a slightly worn or shaving down toe cap that makes the proper shape or whatever, like, like not feeling all wonky when you flip, when you flip your tricks, like it doesn't feel like it's skipping across the whole bunch, it just feels flush. So that means it took me about three days total for that full break in feel versus a day or two with other shoes and the rest of the shoe does not suffer from a delayed breaking because it's all the way uh like textile and flexible as hell bending easily out the boxes of course that the outsole though that does hold strong so you will like with any shoe have to break that in the suede layer bump over the toe cap for additional protection which reminds me of the tyshawn lows right there and if it's anything like it it's absolutely gonna hold its own i guess for sure not just there for the sake of being there it does its damn job it more or less did a like some balding, nothing too crazy. Unless that whole shit fell off or something. I haven't had that happen, but I mean, if it does, it shit. All facts, no cap, like a full head of hair, nigga. Am I zooming now? Is that how that works? Is that? Oh, and it's tapped off with like some little extra grip right there on the, the little white rubber part. You can see the little tech, you see that little texture right there. Yeah, yeah, it really grip you. Know? You gonna help with the like catching your tricks and everything like that. Now, not literally. I mean, you still gotta catch it. Or everything on your own. It's gonna. I mean, it's mostly you and shit to the extent the shoe does and does what it does. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be you. You know what I'm saying? These. This ain't like Mike niggas. This ain't like Nora nigga. You ain't gonna be none of that nigga. Cool little outsole pattern. Looks a little different from 
of the types of uh, the grip I see on Adidas. That also looks a little bit different than the standard Adidas shoes, but nonetheless, it's gonna have the same build quality. It's more so just like a thread pattern or design layout. This shit is, this shit, this shit is grippy as hell, nigga. This shit is stickier than Spider-Man's nut rag, nigga. I don't know. It's not Adidas, man. You got, you understand? It's not Adidas if you don't lose at least one or two or your three or the fifteen of your stripes, nigga. I know there's only three, nigga, but you gonna lose this. Some of these shoes be ripping, nigga. But three weeks out, and I still got that thing. Whew. I should probably go to a doctor. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. In conclusion, highly recommend. Results will vary. Don't care. Don't give a damn, nigga. These motherfuckers are it for me. And I, I love these. I like them. Love is a strong word. It's definitely one of my top three Adidas. Definitely one of my top three Adidas. So we just hit the three-week mark. That bitch. That shit. That shit's not really coming up. It's coming up. It's low-key coming up, nigga. But nothing too crazy. I definitely wore away the toe cap a lot more, but it's still that layer to go through, as you can see. And that suede bumper again is just that leather is just pretty much unfazed, other than being dirty as hell. But well, yeah, the lace bed wasn't too low, but it did. I mean, it's in the damage area, so you have to worry about that possibly. Did not lose a stripe, as you can see. Bottom grip still intact. The bottom grip is fucking. Oh, that shit. Oh, is that shit? Nah, but that, nah, but see, that also is still fucking, it's flexing. You still have the support when you stand in them and everything. Now, you still got a good amount of flex, but that also is still strong and sturdy. So when you stand in it, you still feel support and everything. It's not too bad at all. See, my toe cap, we got a good amount of wear, but we still got a whole little layer to go through right there. So you had all that extra. This is the one I need to, I, okay, I was sleeping on the switch. Okay, I didn't do much switching, is it? But you can see the difference from the starting to where it is now, how much it wore away, how much it'll give you, how much it wore away, and how much it still has to go. to that suede bumper we again have that thick ass sticky ass big cellulite ass big old dump truck dirty diaper booty nigga i'm sorry i'm looking at my ig right now nigga. And thirst trap jesus is not happy with me nigga. i gotta end this video that we gotta wrap this shit the shit up man